Hello everybody, my name is David. Today is the first day of April 2019, the day that we call April Fool's Day. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful day. It is Monday. I hope you're having a wonderful start to the new week. I'm going to title this video, Focus on God and Not Your Problems. As Christians, we find ourselves as any other person on this earth going through problems. We have tragedies that strike us, family emergencies, uh, personal problems of every shape, manner, and form. Those are the times we need to focus more on the Lord. But sadly, many of us do not. Many of us, many of us take our focus off of God and on to the problem, and that just makes it worse. So let's see to start out what the Bible has to say about focusing on the Lord. We're going to start out with Colossians chapter 3 verse 2 and it goes as follows. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. Matthew 6 33. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be added to you. Romans 8, 5, the final one. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on things of the Spirit. Of course, we are talking about God in that passage, uh, focusing on the Lord. I want to reiterate, we are human beings. We do have problems, as all do. Just because you are a Christian does not uh, alleviate you from having problems. As I've said prior, it's good being a Christian. It's good having that joy and love in your heart. But we are humans and we do have problems. But the one thing that sets us apart from the non-believer is we always have Christ with us. We always have the Lord. He's always there. Always. Even through our darkest hour, He's there. Most definitely, He's there. Reminds me of a, of a story from the Bible about focusing on the Lord. Reminds me of Daniel in the lion's den. We all know the story about Daniel in the lion's den. Think about, think about it this way. We know Daniel slept with the lions all night, peacefully, quietly. But if Daniel had been focusing, put his attention and his focus on those lions and not on God as he did, I bet you he would not have been sleeping that night. He probably would have been hiding in a corner somewhere, focusing on those lions, making sure they didn't devour him. But we know that Daniel kept his focus on the Lord, therefore he was kept protected all night long. Do not take your focus off of God. Now, of course it's easier said than done. Again, I want to bring up that we are human beings. We are full of emotions. But when a problem arises in your life, and it will, I promise you, you need the Lord. That is when your focus needs to stay solely upon the Lord. I have had so many instances where I have had tragedy strike my life. I have had sickness strike my life. And there's been times where I have taken my focus off of the Lord and on the problem or the sickness. And guess what? That became my total focus. The problem became bigger. The problem was harder to tackle because I forgot and I left the Lord out. Instead of turning my focus and giving that tragedy or that sickness or that problem to the Lord, I tried to do it myself. And being a human being full of all kinds of 
errors and mistakes that I've made in my life, it did not go very well. But then there's times as I grew older and I've realized my focus needed to be on God when a problem rose, I gave that problem to the Lord. You ever heard that saying, give it to God? There's actually a saying, give it to God. And that is exactly, my friends, what that means. Give it to God. God will take care of it. I promise you, he's not going to forsake you. He will take care of that problem. He will take care of that. Now, there's another thing where you go in to get prayed for. Let's say you are sick. I have been guilty of this myself. And you get prayed for and God delivers you from whatever ailment you may have had, whether it be, you know, uh, a sore knee or something worse, okay? And you start getting feelings that that might be have come back, or it might be, and instead of saying, no, it's not, I gave it to God, it's over, I do not, you focus back on that sickness that's coming, or that pain, or that ache, and guess what, it comes back, because you focused on that, you took your focus off the Lord, instead of putting where it needed to be, was on the Lord. I've seen that too many times. I've been guilty of that myself. I never set up here and do these videos and act like that, you know, uh, I'm holier than thou or I've never made mistakes. I've made more mistakes than probably most of you watching these videos, but that's how you learn. But the main thing I can tell you is do not take your focus off of God because more problems inevitably will rise from just doing that, especially if you're a believer and you've accepted Jesus. You know, God is there for a reason. You know, God, God, he's there for you. You know, you need to lean on him in times when you, when you're going through struggles. Uh, I've, I've, I've mentioned previously in, a, in an old video about the poem or the short story, uh, Footprints in the Sand. Now, I'm going to butcher this because I don't, you know, I know the basic synopsis of it. So, uh, if you've not know this, look it up on the internet. It's called Footprints in the Sand. It is a wonderful, I don't know if they would call that a poem or a short story, but you'll see a lot of them uh, in paintings, and you'll see it written on paintings. Basically, what had happened was this gentleman was going through life, walking, and they were doing his life in the sand, meaning his footprints. And at, when everything was going fine in his life, there was two sets of footprints, him and the Lord's. And when a tragedy struck in his life, he noticed there was, at that time, during that tragedy, there was only one set of footprints. And that's what he focused on. He focused that there was only one set. The Lord must have left me. He must have forsaken me in my most dire time when I needed him more than ever he left me that's what he was thinking but no that's not what had happened the Lord had told him my son when you were going through that most horrid time in your life the reason you only saw one footprints one set of footprints was not because you were walking alone or I left you no during that time, those footprints were mine. I was carrying you through that most difficult time in your life. And that, my friends, brings me back to focusing on the Lord. That, that is something that, you know, we all as believers, we all as Christians need to work on. Nobody is 100% at anything. Because, again, we are human. There was only one that ever in recorded history of mankind that ever walked this earth in pure perfection, ever. And that was our Lord Jesus Christ. That's it. The rest of us, well, we're human beings. But we're human beings that's accepted that gift from Jesus. That's the most wonderful gift you could ever, ever be given. I don't care if you're given mansions, I don't care if you're given the, 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 the fastest cars, I don't care if you're given the fanciest clothes, I don't care what this world has to offer, there's no gift on this earth, none, nada, zilch, zip, none, 
more greater than the gift that Jesus Christ gives. But you have to accept that gift. Are you willing to accept that gift? He's there every day, every second of every minute, of every hour, of every day, of every week, of every month, of every year, just waiting for you to accept that gift. All you have to do is ask Him to come into your heart and you accept that gift. And when you do, remember to focus on the Lord. Pray. Prayer is another most important thing in your Christian walk. Every day, set aside five minutes. If you got ten minutes, go somewhere quiet. Go to a closet, a prayer closet. Go to your bedroom. Give the Lord some time every day, and I promise you, you will grow. You will see. You will see. I promise you, you will see. God will, you will grow in the Lord. You just got got to talk to him. You just got to pray and read your word. And again, finally, and my last thing, you must focus on the Lord. Do not focus on your problem. Focus on the Lord. Do not focus on your sickness. Focus on God. And I promise you, you will find that that problem is nothing. That that sickness can be overcome with the Lord. I've seen it too many times. I know. I know. Well, my friends, I hope you have a wonderful day today. Please, if you have time, I would ask if you would. I would appreciate subscribe. I'm closing in ever so slowly on 100 subscribers. I know that sounds like nothing, but to me it's wonderful because that's 100 people. Almost. I'm in the 90s. Almost. If I can just get to 100, that would be wonderful. Then we'll go for 500, and we'll keep building this channel together. It's not my channel. It's our channel. I do this for everybody. So take care of yourselves. God bless each and every one of you. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.